Hello and welcome to the Gamers Academy YouTube channel. My name is Outlandish and I played this game competitively for four years, but I decided to retire recently, become a coach and partner up together with Gamers Academy to provide you guys educational content to make the best players you want to be. If you want to book me or one of my colleagues for individual coaching sessions, you can book us on gamersacademy.com. You can find the homepage in the description below. On top of that, you can use this code to save up to 10% for the first session you will book with us. In this video, we will talk about the Olaf adjustments and how does it impact the champion and the current meta. All that in the upcoming video. As already said in the intro today, we will talk about the Olaf changes, how it impacts the, the champion and how it impacts the meta. I think it's a really, really interesting change because Olaf was a niche pick uh, in the past meters. Uh, not a lot of junglers were playing it. There were so, some one tricks on top lane, for example, that played it. Uh, Adam, for example, uh, that's playing currently in LEC, but some junglers were really comfortable playing it against a tank junglers, for example, and he was a really powerful jungler, especially like in the early game. His clear was unmatched as an AD jungler, and his 1v1 potential was crazy good. And he was uh, in the current meta not picked anymore because we've seen a lot of uh, Jarvans, we've seen a lot of uh, Wooly Bears, a lot of bridge junglers, not that uh, carry oriented style, more. Um, trying to give uh, leads to the lanes and this is something that was like uh, played a lot in recent meta and EU Masters and um, LEC in the past split but now we've we see a lot of new carry junglers uh, for example Wukong, we see Lilia, Karthos, a lot of new champs coming up into jungle and Olaf as a new adjustment from Riot to bring in new uh, a new style on this champion and bringing him uh, more flexibility on top lane as well because he has some interesting stats we will talk about and some is interesting new spells that gives him a little bit more reliability as a champion. Olaf was um, a little bit hit or miss. He was um, hard to execute because you need to be really comfortable on the champion. You need to understand his limits a lot. And uh, he could be really OP in fights, uh, but it was not the most re reliable champion because it was... Um, you needed to understand his passive and need to, uh, need to juggle with his low HP a lot in team fights. is something not really easy to do um, if you're a beginner and you're trying to improve on the champion. It had a relatively relative high skill ceiling and not a lot of junglers were playing it. So let's go through the changes first. Um, and how after we talk about how it impacts the champion. Um, first of all, which is really interesting, they're buffing the base stats. I think um, we talked about it in patch rundowns as well. Buffing base stats is always really, really dangerous because base stats have an impact on the whole game. It's, uh, it impacts your scaling as well. And it's these buffs are you feel these buffs immediately from level one onwards and he's getting more AD growth, more AD at level 18, more health growth and more mana growth. This is like actually really insane. All numbers are getting pushed up and uh, giving him just just more stats for free um, the, the longer the game goes. And I think especially Olaf before... Uh, uh, before these adjustments was really early game heavy and strong in mid game, but he was falling off really fast. So buffing his scaling and his base stats guarantees him more um, scaling potential and more reliability in the later stage of the game. But I think the most interesting factors are his new spells. And um, his passive is the first thing that's really interesting because before that um, they were putting a lifesteal on his W, which uh, was uh, really strong, but now they're putting the lifesteal on his passive as well. Uh, before that he was getting uh, attack speed, uh, the lower HP he has. Now he's getting HP and lifesteal based on level and based on his HP. And I think this is something really, really nice because it's not relying anymore on a spell. It's always connected to your passive. So this is how they explained it, uh, bigger reliability for him. And um, I think this is a really, really cool change uh, for a passive. Uh, could be overtuned as well. I've seen a, a lot... Uh, uh, some clips already about top lane Olaf where he's really strong in skirmish and gets a huge amount of lifesteal um, in early game and he can turn around skirmishes way easier now because he's not relying on a spell anymore. Um, the next spell that got changed is his Q. I think this made some people upset because before that how Olaf worked is if you throw a Q and you pick up the axe you could immediately throw the Q again. Now you have um, 
the problem that you have a cooldown between uh, even if you pick up your axe, you have like three seconds limit when you can use the axe again. It scales with ability haste, which is nice. So if you have like a 50% uh, cooldown reduction, you only have 1.5 seconds on your Q, uh, Q if you pick up the axe. But it's not as like frequent as the Olaf before where you can just throw axes over and over and over and over again. So this is something... Um, Kind of sad, but they gave the Q and just new whole ability that you just shred armor for four seconds if you hit your Q. And I think this is something really, really strong. And especially um, in solo lane where you can like all in as Olaf in early game really easily. You can just shred the armor and just all in way easier. For me, it's um, it's really interesting that that they change his Q in this way and give him like armor penetration on his Q, which is something um, my important, really broken and uh, important to spectate how the champion will be bagging the meta because of the changes, because I think this could be a little bit overtuned because at level five, it gives you 30% armor reduction for, few, uh, for four seconds. I think this is something really strong and we need to... Um, have a look at it. Um, as I said, the W got changed. The old W was uh, giving you um, lifesteal on his auto attacks. Now it's more about that you have this lifesteal on your passive and the W gives you just new stats and just a new, whole new dynamic. Um, first of all, the cooldown got uh, reduced, um, the at attack speed got uh, reduced. So the, you have still the attack speed factor, but the new mechanic about it is that, that you get a, get a shield on Olaf. I think this is something really insane because I feel like um, the biggest problem about Olaf was that if you go into a team fight, you had not really like self peel or something. It was just like hit or miss. You were trying to kill people and try to juggle your HP with a triumph. And now you have a shield that gives you um, a basic scaling plus uh 25 percent of your missing health so i think this is something really really strong and gives some more reliability in fights and it's even easier for you to juggle with this hp so if you're low hp you can trigger your w to get a shield back and um i think this is a really cool uh, mechanic but makes them obviously really really strong in team fights as well uh, I think what is really really nice for pro play and something that people might underestimate is that like his W gives him a, a reset on his basic attack timer so he can like um, get like two out attacks out really fast if you use the W correctly. I think this is really cool for um, your jungle speed and something really cool for short trades in lane as well because you can like get out out attacks really really fast if you use your W correctly. So I think this W new W could be really interesting especially with the combination that you get a shield. Um, I think this is something really really nice and the last point about Olaf uh, that's getting changed as a spell is this ultimate his old ultimate uh, gave him um, immunity against CC and he was um, basically really, really annoying because he could like just uh, access your backline with just dodging every CC couldn't get slowed stunned or, uh, and so on but what they changed now about this I, I need to laugh about it because I think it's really really broken I think this could be Overtuned as well that you have an infinite infinite amount of time on your ultimate every time you use your E or your basic attack an enemy and the duration is getting extended by 2.5 seconds every time you auto attack. So if you have a long fight, Olaf is have like Olaf is so efficient in long fights because you can st stack your conqueror with it and you're having infinite amount of ultimate and this is something. Um, something really really strong i think there's some still the same stats you get like uh ad on your ultimate and um what you need to think about an ultimate as well is that it doesn't the duration is not six seconds anymore it's only three seconds so you're relying a lot that you're consistently consistently hitting someone and you're trying to extend your ultimate duration so if you don't hit someone in the first three seconds the ultimate will just expire so the um, efficiency of the ultimate is relying a lot on your team fighting and if you can hit enemy targets but I think in general, all these changes are really nice to see because they give the champion more reliability. And as I said already in the beginning, is this is something Olaf always struggled with. He was not the strongest champion when it comes down to if you're not really experienced on a champion. I think our champion dynamic should work is that 
for me personally, like easy to learn, hard to master is always the nicest way to utilize a champion. And how Olaf was is that you need to be really experienced on juggling with the HP and you don't need to know your limits really, really well to use them efficiently. And now he gets more reliability with his W with giving himself her own shield that his uh, lifesteal is connected to his passive, not to, his, uh, to a spell anymore. So you don't need to think about that. Um, if you're new, uh, if you're a beginner and trying to uh, use, uh, trying to learn Olaf, and I think these new spells and a shield and this uh, armor reduction on his Q gives him a more sustainability and more um, uh, more power in solo lane as well. I have the assumption that that Olaf will be even more played on solo lane compared to jungle because his jungle uh, clear is. Um, not that strong as it was before because you have a cooldown on your Q uh, for three seconds before that you could just like spam your Q in jungle and clear the jungle really fast and this is something you don't have anymore you have a clear cooldown cut in early games so this is um, something that t from my like if I try to explain the new changes for myself I think Olaf will be more reliability on top lane compared to jungle. So this is something uh, really interesting to see if we have new statistics and competitive if we comes uh, to meta. Currently, we're still playing on 12.8. So I think um, in the future, we will have more information about that. Yeah, but let me know in the comments how you like the Olaf changes. And if you think that the, uh, as I think the new kit is really overtuned and I think uh, Riot needs to adjust that again because I think giving him a shield Passive lifesteal, uh, armor shred, and immunity against CC, and like he has so way too much tools to be the best skirmish fighter we have currently in the meta. So I think they need to adjust that. But maybe I'm wrong. Let's discuss about that in the comments. And I hope you understand now the new Olaf spells and the new passive. Thanks for watching this episode of the Gamers Academy YouTube channel about the Olaf changes and how does it impact the champion in the current meta. We would appreciate if you like, subscribe and activate the bell on our channel and leave us a comment, maybe some feedback about the content we are creating or discuss with us about this topic. If you want to discuss with me or one of my colleagues in depth about the Olaf changes, you can visit our official Gamers Academy Discord server. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.